Prince Harry stay silent on where he took Meghan Markle for honeymoon but it wasn't here. Prince Harry didn't take his wife Meghan Markle to Namibia for their honeymoon after their wedding on May 19, as confirmed by the Duke of Sussex himself. Media and royal experts were expecting the newlyweds to fly to Namibia after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's wedding at St George's Chapel in Windsor. But Harry confessed during the Queen's Young Leaders Award ceremony on Tuesday they didn't fly to Namibia for their special occasion. Speaking Mavis Elias, a philanthropist from Namibia, who asked if he visited his country for the honeymoon, Prince Harry said, No, we didn't go to Namibia. But he didn't want to disclose where he took the Duchess to, as he added, I'm not going to say where. Namibia was seen as favored location for the couple's honeymoon by many given Harry's love for the country. The sixth in line had already visited the country in 2006 with his ex-girlfriend Chelsea Davy, then on an army tour in 2008 and later in 2015 to carry out works on conservation projects. Meghan and Harry have a strong connection with Africa, as they celebrated the Duchess' birthday in Botswana, which neighbors Namibia. In August 2017, just a few months before sharing the news of their engagement with the world. And the main stone in Meghan's engagement ring comes from Botswana and was sourced by his then fiance. Harry later said of the trip, going on holiday together in the middle of nowhere and sharing a tent together and all that kind of stuff. It was fantastic. Prince Harry previously said he can be free in Africa. On a previous trip to Namibia taken on July 2015, Coinciding with Princess Charlotte's christening, in a bid to help anti-poaching efforts in Namibia he said, I've come all the way to Africa to be free. I'm taking my bedroll and I'm sleeping by the fire. The Young Leaders Award is a ceremony created in 2014 honoring outstanding young people who with their work made lasting changes in their communities across the Commonwealth. Hosted by the Queen at Buckingham Palace, the program gives grants to help these individuals learn new skills and enter employment.